good what's good what is good my sizes we are back again with another video and today we are at the south point hotel and casino whoever created the floor plan to south point is so smart because when you walk into the main entrance there's starbucks on your left and hotel registration is on your right i think the best part about the hotel registration is that there's sofas that you and your children could sit on while someone checks in if you ever get lost in south point just look for the south point 400 bar because it's in the middle of the floor plan on the first floor so it would definitely help navigate you to where you have to go also this is the showroom which is where the box office shows are located i got to meet the part of the cast of criminal minds here so that was really cool and that room is actually pretty spacious but like always has a good view this is the bar that's next to the showroom and that's a hot dog stand I would go to that hot dog stand rather than the one across from the sports book because that one is $1.25 versus the one by the bar in the corner is a dollar. So the show The Dirty is a comedy show for only 21 and over and I'll show you where it is because it's at the Grandview Lounge so I'll show you where that is. A key thing to note about South Point is that all of their really good restaurants and food spots are all the way in the back of the casino and they're all on the first floor. The second floor is mostly just like movie theaters and games and stuff but yeah so keep that in mind about the food these two restaurants and a bar are located up those stairs but don't worry because there's an elevator right next to it but here's a menu for this mexican place they sell alcohol versus there's a primarily prime rib which they obviously sell like steaks prime ribs stuff like that and it's next to the cafe south point is highly known for the rodeos and the rodeo arena and luckily for us there was a rodeo like in session when i was filming this it was this weekend so it was extra crowded so this is the cafe it's called the coronado cafe and their food is so good and they also have late night specials which is where they basically sell breakfast for less than five bucks and it's really good i highly recommend it so the club is where you're going to want to get your players cards to gamble and to get points at the buffet stuff like that but also, this is, like, on the way towards the arena, so this is, like, very rodeo-themed and set up this hallway. Here's a little fun fact for you, but that statue right there is 15 feet tall and 16 feet long. For the hotel aspect of South Point, they have a spa, salon, barbershop, and pool. So I was able to find the pool, like, right away. It was closed, however, so I couldn't really give you guys a good shot of it. But it's right next to the bathrooms and this is the barber shop it says they were open until six but i got there before six and the door was closed so i can't tell you what the barber shop looks like anyways and this is their salon and it smelled really good in there so i would definitely recommend it and this is their fitness center which had two different entrances but this is like where the main workout entrance was So I came across this hallway in the back of South Point and this was so cool. They literally had a picture of all of like the old hotels and casinos and like what they looked like before and what they were originally called and like the year of the hotel. And I just thought this hallway was super cool. Like I would definitely go to South Point just to look at this hallway because it was so like informative just in pictures alone and it tells you like what casino it is currently like i've been to south point numerous amount of times because out of all the casinos this is like me and my family's favorite casino because their buffet is good and i've never seen this hallway before in my life but this was honestly so cool i was so excited when i found this hallway So on the way to the arena, I found this poster about the arena. So this is what the arena basically looks like for the rodeo. Also, for those who don't know, there is a steak and shake at South Point, and they do offer a happy hour for their milkshakes and drinks. South Point is just one big circle, so this is another bar in the middle of that circle. It's called Island Bar. <music> 
So this is the Oyster Bar, and everyone talks so highly of it. I've literally never heard a complaint. But if you also go down the hallway with the Oyster Bar, you'll find the gift shop to the right, and to the left is like a staircase that leads you to Bingo, the arcade, and bowling. Also that you can see in the corner is that they shine your shoes for you. So these are all the table games South Point has to offer, and it's honestly so much. I was overwhelmed filming it because it's like this whole area. And this is the Garden Buffet. Now, if you want to see like what's inside of it and what it has to offer, be sure to check out my video from last week because I just did a video about that. So if we keep walking towards like the back of the first floor, you'll run into the stairwell that will lead to the movie theater and steak and shake and steak and shake also has like a little takeout window so that's really cool there's also this asian restaurant right next to it and there's this is the poker room and yeah there's a lot of people in it but there's a lot of people in this poker room because they do daily tournaments as such So this is the Grandview Bar, and the Grandview Lounge is right behind that, and that's where the comedy show will be. Also, it's free, but you have to be 21 and over. This is one of their sports books. This is just for watching horses, and it's right next to the Grandview. Also, they have a radio station that they, like, host there, and they were actually in the process of filming it, so I got that on camera for you guys, too. This is the other hot dog spot I was telling you about. That's $1.25 per hot dog rather than the one by the bar in the corner. That's a dollar. This is their main sports bar or sports book. And this is their main sports bar because it's right next to the sports book and a deli. And I'll show you the deli, and the prices and what some of the stuff it has to offer as well. So remember in the beginning, I was like, whoever made the floor plan to South Point is a genius because right in front of the main entrance on the left was a Starbucks. Well, next to that Starbucks is an ice cream shop. Oh, so this is the Grandview Lounge, and this is where the comedy shows are. Remember, you have to be 21 and over to do it. It's every Friday at 1230 in the morning, and it's free. <laughs> So on the second floor with the bowling and the arcade, they do offer bingo, but bingo is 21 and over as well. The entrance to the bowling center is really cool because it's right next to the movie theater as well. So like if you really just don't really know which one to do yet, you can like go back and forth because they're right there. I won't lie to you guys, the arcade is a bit tricky to find, but you have to walk into the bowling center and take an immediate left and it's right there. And it's actually pretty spacious for it to be in the corner. This is what the inside of the bingo hall looks like. I was so glad like the doors are finally open now so I could show you guys what it looks like. But I'm running out of time. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any other videos I should do. And smash that subscribe button. Toodles!